Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today we're gonna to make this crosscut sled for the table saw. Check it. You may remember like three or four years ago, I made one that broke in the move into the new shop. So for the last two years, I've just been using this miter gauge. The surface of this is melamine and it's, it's got this uh, particle board. I don't even know what that's called, but this does not bend like a piece of plywood and it's super, super flat. I also got a piece of hickory that we're going to make for runners. So I'm gonna cut this to 24 inches, which is the depth of our sled. This gap is three quarters of an inch. So I've got my fence set to just over three quarters and we're gonna sneak up until we hit that perfect width. You can see it doesn't quite fit in there yet. So we're just gonna knock over the fence. We have the perfect width. There's no play in there at all. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a second one. That we have our two runners that fit into the slot perfectly. We need to cut this down so it sits below the table saw surface. We're gonna keep this, but we wanna go just below the line that we drew. This is a really small cut, so you need some sort of sacrificial push stick to push through there. I got my blade just above there and it's gonna cut through my push stick. So now we need to raise these above the surface. We want them, when they're on the sled, we want them below the surface so it doesn't bottom out. But for gluing this on, we wanna stick some pennies in there to raise it above the surface. just temporarily while we glue this on. And we're gonna use our fence to kind of keep it square. This isn't important right now. I want mine to go to the edge of my table saw fence here. And we're just going to glue this on. Then once the glue dries, we'll flip this over and reinforce that with screws. We can flip this over. Drill some holes, countersink them, and put some screws in there to reinforce that. So when you screw this in, the wood might spread a little bit, making that a little bit tighter, but we can sand this down and wax it down to make it nice and slips. You wanna make sure that is below the surface. Drops right in there, no play whatsoever. So now we're gonna make the fence. This is the critical part of a table saw sled. I'm using three quarter inch plywood. I have my fence set to three inches and we're gonna cut two pieces. If you're gonna use your own stop system, you can go ahead and glue these two pieces together. I'm using the Craig Track and Stop system and that requires one of these pieces to be cut a little bit shorter and the reason is this is going to go in the front and then this piece needs to go back here but as you can see it's too tall so I need to stagger the pieces and cut this one a little bit shorter. So now we're going to glue these two pieces together just with some wood glue. Instead of just gluing them together and clamping them that that could potentially allow it to banana. So you wanna glue it to something flat as well. I'm going to use my fence here and then just clamp it to the fence. So now that this is dry, I'm gonna put on the Craig track. The great thing about this aluminum extrusion is if the board did dry in a banana shape, this will pull it straight because this is perfectly straight, which is another reason why I like using this. So I'm just going to screw it in place. So now that the fence is assembled, we need to put a little chamfer on the bottom here because as dust gets up against it, it needs a place to go so it doesn't interfere with the piece. So we're gonna go do this over at the router. You can do this at the table saw by tilting your blade to 45 degrees, whichever way works best for you. 
I'm gonna go ahead and make my curve cut to about three quarters of the way through, and then we can attach the fence and set it to the blade. I'm just going to put one screw in over here, and that's going to be our pivot point to allow us to square this up with the blade. Free drill and screw into here. A lot of people, and including myself in the past, have used the five cut method. I find that unnecessary for the table saw sled. For the last two years, I've been using this guy and just squaring it up to the blade, and that has worked perfectly fine for small projects and big projects. My fence can pivot, and you wanna make sure you're not biting up against the tooth and you're hitting the blade. But right there, come to the other side just to be sure. And then once you have that, you can move this without moving it. And then clamp this in place. So I've gone and put one, two, and then this would be my third screw in there. So now we're gonna make a cut and see if that's square. So now to make this guy nice and slippery, we're just gonna add some paste wax to the runners. This side's good. Before we test this guy out, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. Squarespace empowers you by providing the tools you need to bring your creative ideas to life. On Squarespace's dynamic all-in-one platform, you can claim a domain, build a website, sell online, and market your brand. My website, makesomething.com, and my podcast, makingitpodcast.com, are both Squarespace sites. Before this whole YouTube thing, I used to be a professional web developer and I use Squarespace because it's easy to use and there's tons of beautiful templates to choose from. Many of you are also using Squarespace and a few weeks ago I asked you to send me your Squarespace links and that's what you're seeing on the screen now. If you want me to feature your work next month, post a link to your Squarespace site down below in the comments and I may feature you. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash make something for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I actually was a web developer for 10 years, and I am so glad to have those headaches removed from my life. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to this table saw sled. And look at this. I have a digital angle gauge here. I don't always trust them, but that says 90 degrees. Most people will put a fence in the front as well. I don't like doing that. Eventually this might break. I'm a woodworker, I can make another one. The reason I don't like the fence, I can put on a board that's bigger than my sled to cut. So it gives me a few more options. And now I can run this through. Another way to use this is I can take the sled and flip it around this way. Now I have my fence in the front. I can set a board here and push this through. This Craig track comes with these two stops. There's this one that does not move once you lock it into place, and this other one that flips up once you lock it into place. I rarely, rarely ever use this one. So this is my stop right here. Lock that down. This will allow you to lift it up and get it out of the way when you need to. If you do decide to put a fence on the front of your sled, you can add a safety feature by putting a piece of plexiglass or a clear acrylic over top of here to keep your hands away from the blade. A lot of people will also put a block back here so the blade never gets exposed. I'm not going to do that. I just know to keep my hands away from there. That is how you make a quick and easy cross cut sled for the table saw. If you want the dimensions that I'm using, there'll be a link down in the description, but you can make this any size you want, small, big. I'm actually going to make another one that's smaller and easier to lift up and put on the table saw when I need to do smaller pieces. I'd like to mention that I am doing a meetup and book signing at Kencraft Hardwoods here in Toledo, Ohio, June 8th, 2019. There'll be a link down below for more information. If you like this video, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. We'll see you next week with a brand new project. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. Dan, passionate and make something. Dan. What? With me. Okay. Stay passionate and make, make something. something. Yes.